Welcome to our daily devotional for April 6th, 2021. Our verse for the day is from Psalm 51, verse 1. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. God's amazing love, his amazing grace, it goes beyond any kind of value that we could ever imagine. It's beyond value to each and every one of us. And any time any of us thinks that we're better than anybody else, those are the best times to remember that God has told us that there is no one righteous, not even one, and all of humanity and is, is under the power of sin. If we choose to turn away from evil, if we choose to repent of our sins, if we choose to, to turn towards Jesus Christ, that's when we'll realize that the wrong that we do in our lives can be both judged and forgiven, but never, ever excused, rationalized, or ignored. You see, an unfortunate condition of human nature is that we tend to look upon the wrong that other people do the things that they do to us, and see those things as inexcusable, selfish choices. But instead are inclined to view the wrongs that we too do to others uh, as rationalized, understandable mistakes. The problem here is that when we place blame for our own transgressions on anything other than ourselves, what you and I are doing is really attempting to avoid seeing ourselves in light of God's standards and deserving of punishment. If we claim that we have no sin, <laughs> we're only fooling ourselves and we're not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we're calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. You see, when we are truly repentant is when you and I can truly experience God's amazing grace, a level of forgiveness that is infinitely available to the sincere and committed follower of Jesus Christ. Now, our passage for the day comes to us from uh, Psalm 51, and I'm going to be reading to you from verses 1 through 17, and this will be from the New International Version of God's Holy Word. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you... You only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then, I will teach transgressors your way, so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. Well, additional readings that coincide with the theme of today's devotional would be Romans chapter 3, verses 9 through 26, and 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 through 10. 
Now, if you would like to subscribe to these uh, uploadings to YouTube on our YouTube channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified when they are posted. And as always, may God bless you and yours from the IOM Community Church.